Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today, it's Friday Eve, March 30th, 2023. Okay, Thursday. (laughs) Number one, more than 2,000 homes were leveled in Mississippi after Friday night's hard-hitting tornadoes, hitting the hardest, the predominantly black cities of Rolling Fork and Silver City. Utility companies are promising the return of power and water as residents and volunteers continue to sift through the wreckage of what was once their lives. Please go to the What You Need to Know newsletter to find out ways that you can help our friends in Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Louisiana. Number two, the Missouri House of Representatives passed a bill Monday that would put the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department under state control, as it was more than a decade ago. Should the bill pass the Senate, only five people would have control of the police, the mayor of St. Louis, Deshora Jones, and four other people appointed by the governor. Former mayor, Francis Slay, who got the St. Louis police back under city control, spoke out against the bill, citing a process rife with corruption, while Senate Republicans say they want to fight crime. Number three, Wednesday, the FDA approved selling the leading version of naloxone without a prescription, setting the overdose reversing drug on course to become the first opioid treatment drug to be sold over the counter. Narcan is the best known form of naloxone and it can reverse overdoses of opioids, including street drugs such as heroin and fentanyl and prescription versions, including oxycodone. Making naloxone available more widely is seen as a key strategy to controlling the nationwide overdose crisis, which has been linked to more than 100,000 U.S. deaths a year. Number four, William McDonald, a 45-year-old white man, is facing up to 11 years in prison after he pleaded guilty to being a menace who targeted black neighbors at a West Allis, Wisconsin apartment complex. Incidents of McDonald's racist behavior date back to March 2021 when he slashed the tires and cracked the windshield of a black woman's vehicle parked outside her apartment. The FBI and local police connected McDonald to the federal hate crimes with the use of surveillance footage and matching handwriting samples. The Department of Justice did not specify if he also admitted to being involved. Number five, we're just a day away and happy April. It's officially spring and the astrological new year. This month has the potential to really be a new beginning for so many of us, but with the planets really spread across the zodiac, it's going to be very important that we are mindful of what the energies of April 2023 bring. Check out more from Ms. Astrology in today's What You Need to Know newsletter. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Don't change yourself to make others happy unless that someone is you. All right. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with Ms. Astrology as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partner, the American Heart Association. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.